What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Creepy Crawl. This is just a follow-up to the scooter nonsense from the last video. Uh, also documenting this. I've already sent the raw, uncut video to them. And um, I just wanted to give you a heads up as to where we are in the process with this bike. So the only options on the table from them were replace, uh, return the bike or take a discount and parts that I would need to, you know, won't ever be brand new ever again, but you know, it is what it is. So I actually looked locally for a bike, another seemed to pan out. So I decided it wasn't that big a deal to replace some plastic. That's at the end of the day, that's what we're looking at. And so far, it looks like it's just plastic things. The rotor is straight. I used a couple of calipers, different ones to make sure everything's good there. Um, so what you're going to see here is a video requested by them uh, showing the parts I would need. They also wanted a complete walk around the bike. They, Killer Motorsports out of Texas, they, they just, excuse the language, but they suck. They suck. Um, I read the reviews, and most of them were pretty positive. There was a couple here and there, but they were they were mechanical related. You know what I mean? And that could, these are Chinese bikes, so you should expect some level of you know, mishaps in here and there. I mean, the bike was only $700 to begin with, right? I wanted to start off cheap, you know, a bike for modification to play around with, something that really wouldn't be, you know, if I got a Honda Ruckus and, and screwed that all up, I would be disappointed in myself. This here, it is what it is, but uh, hopefully the discount's pretty good and the parts come quickly, and that's what you're watching right now. Um, Killer Motorsports sucks. Their, their customer service is horrible. And it's not necessarily the person, I guess. I don't know. I've never actually spoken to the person. They don't do phone calls. And I, I think it's one lady. I think it's one lady and an email set up. And it takes forever for them to get back to you. They ask for all kinds of ridiculous stuff. And it's like, I've, I, I've shown you an unedited video of me unwrapping this thing, pointing out the flaws. All right, you want specifics? That's fine. Hey, I'm not complaining there. I had no problem making this video for them. And that's what you're going to see here. I'm pretty sure I've already said that three times. But um, that's it. This is just the parts that it's going to need. And I figure I would document it here since this is where I'm going to document my my journey with a scooter. Regardless if it's this one or whatever else. So depending on whatever discount they offer, we may not keep the bike. But as it stands right now, we're going to keep the bike. Hopefully we'll get the parts. And I can ride it until then. And um, that's it. That's it. So uh, the only the only thing that's really bothering me out is a brand new scooter will never be the brand new scooter, and uh, I guess I just have to deal with that. So uh, yeah, there you go. These are the parts I need. And if uh, if you're watching this as well, Texas uh, Killer Motorsports or whatever, step up your game, please. This is supposed to be a fun ex experience, and as typical Chris uh, with the bad luck. It wasn't. All right, everybody, take care and bye bye. All right, here's the uh, walk around. We'll go all the way around the bike. We'll go all the way around the bike. And just to show you the VIN number. So you know it's the same bike. Pause that and read it. All right. So here's the trouble spots back here. Uh, when the bike arrived, this was bent all the way up, which caused everything from here down to misform, and in some cases, shatter. Um, the connections on the inside here are broke. This one obviously has damage on the outside. And this is all foobar as well. It's cracked in a couple of places. And some of the little bracing pieces are broken too. So I'm definitely going to need both rear side panels. This panel. <clears throat> it definitely fell at one point during shipment. I'm not worried about this scuff. That's fine. I can cover that up. But this piece of plastic for the floorboard. This was hit and shattered. Which also cracked up here. So I'll need a new one of those, as well as the rubber piece that goes on it. It looks like they had it on there, um, 
but it was actually in here. <laughs> it was in here, and it's still, a piece of it's still right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video, and I'm going to remove this, and go inside these panels to see if there's anything inside that's damaged, and if not, then just the plastic. Um, and any clips inside that may be neat, necessary, whether you feel like, you know, they're broken or not, please just send them anyway, that way I have them um, for any unforeseen issues. So uh, let me get this open. I want to make sure there's nothing wrong structurally here, especially with the gas tank being here. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, it's just as I suspected. Everything on the inside here is broken. All the pieces that hold it together see there um, also I'm finding out the headlight or the tail light rather bracket assembly is shattered on both sides or broke it's cracked and broke on both sides uh, the lights do work they do work so I'm not worried about that um, so we're gonna add the tail light it doesn't look like there's any other brackets this looks like it was part of the, the tail light so um, just whatever I would need to put a tail light on this thing uh, the assembly is fine so recap both rear side panels this centerpiece please in white it doesn't have to have decals on it if you have any without them that's fine uh, I'm just gonna be removing the decals eventually anyhow and um, unfortunately a whole new tail light assembly that's a shame because you know I mean it's obviously a nice tail light but I don't know. I would definitely be in contact with your shipper because they didn't they didn't care for this thing at all. It was barely on the pallet when it showed up, as you saw. Um, it should never have left the truck. So I would have been better if they called me and said we're not delivering the condition it's in, and a new bike will be on your way. But it is what it is. You guys work however it is you work, and I guess uh, they taught me a thing or two about buying bikes. So. There you go. There's uh, everything I need. Again, recap. Both side panels, center panels, tail light assembly, oh, and this, this, this floor piece with the rubber.